Hello, Di here from the Messy Palette. Welcome back to my channel. I'm feeling much better today. I can actually breathe, which is a good thing. Um, so I'm on part two of my um, journal um, hybrid book. Um, just dropped it on the floor, which is a design team project for uh paper tray chic and her blue paper vintage kit so what i have done so far is i have glued in my spine into the book and i have covered the outside with some ticking thank you to sue over at paper inspirations who sent that to me beautiful um, so that's in um, I'm going to um, put some cover on cover on this front um, I got this fabric um, at an op shop um, I'm not sure what it was whether it was a curtain or some clothing fabric but it is so cool it's got leaves and flowers and all sorts of stuff it looks like it's printed onto the mesh um, it's not stitched on it looks like a, a stencil or a print or maybe a stamp of some sort but um, I loved it when I saw it. I thought that was just very cool. So I will pop that down. I'm going to put this, which is part of the um, kit. I'll put that down. And I've got some other bits and pieces that I'm going to throw in there. I, am, I have put holes through the book here to put an eyelet for an elastic to hold the signature in the middle here and then the pages the book pages will go either side of there so i've got to have to punch that through the fabric a couple of um, dark blue eyelets so I'll put an elastic through there signature <clears throat> but I'm not going to worry about the cover for now I want to get on with these pages so get rid of this stuff here and out of my way So, this is the sleeves that we made that will pop onto those flanges in the book. We've 
got four of those made. So what we will do is let's build on this. Let us build. Forgot to bring the paper over. <coughs> They are uh, the A4 height, so we don't have to change anything about that. So let's score at half an inch. down a bit and let's mark where's my pencil gone so I've got that cut out there Another Fiskars rot rotary one. This one is just so clunky. Not happy with it at all. winging this so I have no idea how I'm going to build all these pages yet so some things may work some things may not but that's how I like to work I don't plan well I don't measure well So now we have a flap on that side. Let's put in a pocket, I think. off so we don't have a lot of bulk okay that's the 
flat side and we're going to put a pocket. Oh, too big. Too big. So, we need to cut a bit more off. This one little trick. I take it to the outside, I leave the hinge free. So that gives us a pocket there. And So I finally went back to work today, but I could only do half a day because I'm still very tired. But it was nice to get out of the house after being stuck in here for three weeks. And so there was one lady that had it before me and she's back at work and then two others are off because they've both got it now so but they didn't catch it from me because it was between shifts when I got it but anyway so it's going around and it's not a nice strain of it apparently okay so we need something that will hold that shut so I might put a magnet in here <coughs> as soon as I find them Here 
is my pet. Sorry. Nice ones. Upside down. Pop the magnet on there and close the flap. Close the flap. Oh, come on. And cut it Down up there. Oh, I have to cut a little bit more off. So it fits inside the pocket. strong magnet. I'll have to put a stronger one on top, I think. Be one of to get some stronger magnets, I think. Mm. So these 
one's from the earth magnet shop and they're supposed to be extra magnety to go through layers but they don't seem to be let's try these square ones Okay, maybe we might have to put two together. Get off. That's better. Stay. I'm just going to have to put something decorative over that so the lump doesn't stand out at least that holds that down okay so we've got a flap we'll put a mat on that a flap we'll put something there we have a pocket here we'll cover all these um, might put a belly band here and we'll do a, a waterfall photo album on the front here so that is just a matter of so we need it to be this wide is oh my goodness which is five inches wide so like a five by five by three no five by four I think Five first. So if we do five by four and then do a half inch, so five by three and a half. Let's see what that looks like. So cut the piece five by four. I'm going to score it at three and a half. And that's a pretty good size, I think. So I'm going to do five of those, I think. How straight that paper is not. Mm. 
Never trust your paper to be square. We will lay these down one at a time. Finish that down. Put some glue on. So just centralize it because I've just made it a little smaller than the page. Pop it up the top. Excuse my head if I got that in the way. Yo, take it off quickly. Oh my goodness. So I want a closure for it first. Do you know those scissors? I'm just going to cut a fair whack because I'm not sure how much I'll need. And just. So this is the closure for this so that the pages don't flap about. Take two. Okay. Excuse my head again if it's in the way. I need to get this first one really straight. <laughs> So I'm going to butt this one up 
to the one in front and make sure that it is straight along the edge. And rinse and repeat. Right. They will be a little bit off because I can never cut a straight line, even with a cutter. But I don't mind that because we're going to decorate, make it look pretty. Anyway, despite, despite, despite my shortcomings as a precision cutter, because I'm just not. And one more. Let's see if we need any more. going oh we can fit lots more down there I'd say another let's say this will tie this up actually I might leave it at five Leave it at five and I might put an envelope or something down here. So let's just cut that off. this way so waterfall I'll put an envelope here we'll decorate these so you can put a f I'll have pretty paper on the front and you can put a photo on the back or journal whichever one you want to do um, here you can put a belly band but I've got to print some more paper tomorrow um, We've got a flap, which I'll probably put a notebook or something here. And then a pocket here. Then we need something for the back. Maybe I might just do... might do... I might do some flippy flappy envelopes on the back here, but I have to dig those out. haven't got them. So we'll keep this one short next time, which will be tomorrow. We will uh, decorate this page, finish it up, decorate it, and pop it in to show you how they mount into the book. And that will be the first page done. So we've got three pages to do. Um, I've got to sew the signature together and then put the elastic in. Um, so yeah, we'll decorate this tomorrow. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.